When we decided to conduct our EVP session at Seven Sisters Road, we had no idea what we were going to find. By chance, we met the owner of the old property, and he invited us up to the cemetery. Due to the Travel Channel releasing a video on Seven Sisters Road called A Natural World, he felt uncomfortable allowing us to record there, which is completely understandable. So what we did instead was take our voice recorder to see what we would capture. What we heard after getting home would send chills down our spines. Be sure to hit subscribe to get all of our updates so you can see all of our spooky videos in the future. What you are about to experience are just some of the creepy recordings we experienced at Seven Sisters Road and rare images of the cemetery at night. In this video, we want you to focus on the strange sounds and let us know what you think. Was it just us being creeped out in the middle of the woods at night in the cemetery? Or were there indeed some disembodied voices saying something to us? So here's the first strange noise. Who's that way? Post? The second sound is what I like to consider our sing song voice. This is a barbed wire that's going around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No problem going by. Cool. It just happens that they're yeah. in a line. Yeah. They're yeah. in a line on that side. Typical. Yeah, yeah. smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do that for one day. What's up? Yeah. I think the third sound that we captured speaks for itself. It's a strange one for sure, so let us know what you think about it down in the comments. Well, we went to a Catholic, uh, Christian school, and yeah. when we got married, then they said, well, you guys can't be here because we can't have married... Right, mm, right, married. Right couples. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so we could, whenever we wanted to, before we got married, but we were like, be here because we can't have married. Right, right. Be here because we can't have married. Right, right. What I call a ghostly sound. Okay, so quick story here. Um, warden, they, they homesteaders, the homesteaders of this land. Uh -huh. Okay, this is supposed to sit up here, by the way. Right, yeah. Okay. I was it got knocked off by cattle before I even owned this place. They let cattle through yeah. here one time. Sad. Anyways. All right, so he's from like Virginia or somewhere like that. Right here. What do you <laughs> think? Things. All right. And for some reason, the this state of like Virginia came back and exhumed his body back in the 60s. Really? Nobody knows why. But at that time is when they brought this marble stone here. Mm. Mm. So these were the original ones here? Yep. Yep. Here? Yep. Then they brought the base and the marble stone wow. huh. when they exhumed his body. So his body's not here, which is very crazy. I mean, yeah. why would they do that for? Him? He died in 1901, so 59 years later, yeah, they that's came, weird. or you know, 60 years later, they so came they and got him up and moved Yeah. Huh. How much could there have been left? They don't have caskets back then like we do now. Right. Yeah. There could have been much. Right. I know there's no. many skeletons. Like a femur. Yeah, that's it. I mean, maybe a thick bones of your body. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Her yeah. name was Julia. Maybe he had a bunch of jewelry on him or something. That's why. John and Julia. I know there's an old cemetery where. Yeah, for he died 1901. Yeah, for he died 1901. There was a group of us that went up to the cemetery with Nate, and none of us made a sound, anything like the one that is captured. I don't remember hearing it while we were there, um, but it's a strange one. Let us know what you think about this one. Yeah, it's got character that tree here. Yeah, it does. It's been there ever since the day I bought it, obviously. Yeah. Oh, and you're going to be here. Huh. It's interesting where the roots grew together here. Yeah. Cedar, it's old cedar tree. Oh, is it cedar? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
We're super excited about some of our upcoming videos, one of which is going to be about the Squirrel Cage Jail, and it was built in 1885 and housed prisoners until 1969. Now this jail is a strange jail because it's a rotary jail where there's one entrance and one exit. Bar marshal said it was unsafe and they had to create another door. But this jail definitely gives you the creeps and we caught some interesting stuff while we were there. We're going to be trying to do a uh, paranormal investigation overnight in the near future so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next video. Hey.